Get away. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What do you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are ah, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, and as Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard Let me. Let go, Takamura. Hmm. 
At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. How stupid the reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. We'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't watch it dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? 
got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. CUV. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? You look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are. You have it. B, you can trust Oda. All right, then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. 
And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. But you can't I'm ignore like... the truth. Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I'm sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Oda, consider like yourself for a lucky whole lot here. That Just I one not brief you. meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see? The parade. It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Okaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jigjig -Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? J Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Or have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well, as you can see. You should worry about yourself.
I miss the sound. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka. A guest of honor will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner. One, at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. 
That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. We are not done. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoot snow, one spark's all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, you are here. Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you be. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Yorinobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values, and to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Ibuki? <laughs> Might actually be half-decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on.
take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Fucking worked. And done. Systems ours. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this sock of scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Chill, Johnny. He's sock of scum to you, I know that. But Garo's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One. We break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things are even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to double the amount of our active Night City security forces. 
President Myers has he eliminated the, the last obstacle between Ford. himself and complete power. The NUSA they and surrendered Russia. it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know a little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Well, tell me about them some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? I can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorino formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one war. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorino returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events, conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Mm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? 
Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. This is not bad. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Armored door, sealed tight. So, we must be aware of the mech. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanecho. A bacchanecho? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune. 
Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba Eleven. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slab. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed, Chiba Eleven has the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Let me guess, so they could turn them into Corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. All he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So spill. How'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you are both the corporations. Their oh. order, their world in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, save Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka, saw how Corpse operate. It wasn't roses and rainbows. And you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world. Forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Compeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, 
are you, Yigali? Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Baganenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversion reaction. That is my point to the security systems. Excellent. I am also making progress. You'll have to make do. And the children will have to make do with the school we can afford. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room. And make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, 
I'll make the system sick. Starts to do with as we please. Fly to Tokyo. Haha, <laughs> I just may do that. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Two more kills. Even the group is slowly. Me, the group. That is your way out. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. You will to come down. D, you must hurry. I'm a Rasaka AV approaches. He's sick! Trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. <laughs> 